Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to take a look at how to add a USB microphone or USB audio device to capture the microphone into your broadcast mix or recording mix. Now this has come up as a problem in the past and in a number of the forums and posts where the microphone doesn't get recorded and there's a number of reasons why and it is always dependent on the hardware that you're using. Some devices actually have microphone inputs that route directly to your master audio outputs. So it's an analog output, it's straight pass through, it does not connect to virtual DJ at all. Others use a device where you have an option of doing both, where you can use it as an audio input. These are kind of rare inclusions because these sound cards tend to be a little bit more expensive because they're more robust. Uh, there's others that give you the opportunity to record the analog master output. Uh, this is using a feature called loopback record within Virtual DJ. And uh, we're not going to focus on that in this video, but you'll get an idea on how that is done if you follow along. We're going to focus today on the DJ to go to by Newmark, which is a great little handy device that can fit in your back pocket and does not have any type of microphone inputs at all, which causes an enormous amount of frustration for people. You can use a USB microphone to add to the mix as well as your broadcast, and we're going to show you how that works. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get into our audio setup. We're going to add the Newmark DJ to go. And there's our master, there's our headphones. We're going to add a microphone. Now this is important to pay attention to everything here. This is our mic input. There's numerous ways that we can assign it as an audio device in routing, but it is identified as a microphone because we click that device. If you want to get rid of it and start over, click on the microphone to deactivate, click on it again. Uh, we have our drop down. We don't want the built in microphone. That will cause a lot of noise. You'll hear a lot of interference, may hear some feedback. Definitely will hear you pounding on the keys typing in your next song. So we want to avoid that. We're going to use the unknown USB device. It's a sound tech, it uses generic drivers. It's on channel one. If you're using a device like a DDJ, 800, which has a uh, six by six audio input and output, you want to check to see in the manual what the actual channels are. Uh, but that device has two microphones, one and two, that will show up on channels five and six, respectively. Those need to be set up properly to route audio. Once you have that, you can click apply. Now, another question that some people have come across is the microphone is too low no matter what they do. To change that you actually need to go into either the microphone driver or on the Macintosh we're going right into audio MIDI setup and from there we can see a list of all our audio devices and what they do. Here's our unknown device here it's assigned as an input and we have the master volume cranked up. You could do the same thing in the Windows audio settings, and we can go over that in a different video if you'd like. Back to Virtual DJ, make sure you click Apply. Close out your window. Now we need to activate the microphone and include it as part of the mix. And how you can do that is from the master window pane. Turn our microphone on. As you can see, we see a little bit of movement down here. We're gonna click on the record, and when we're ready, now we're recording both the happy song and the sound of my voice mixed together. Pretty easy. Giving a good overview. Hopefully you can apply that to your particular audio devices. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in virtualdj.com's official support page. I'm always there with a ton of other helpful people. Thank you guys for tuning in.